I just heard the most ridiculous, crazy take ever about Deion Sanders, a.k.a. Coach Prime, and what he's doing at Jackson State. And not just at Jackson State, but for all HBCUs. Let's let's talk about it because some things just got to get some straightening. Some things got to get checked, and this, this has got to get checked and nipped in the bud really quick. Let's talk about it after the bumper. What's good, good people? What is good, good people? My name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. here with the Black Boss Channel and Victory Formation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell because we upload every single day. Now, I was up late last night. My cousin, he shot me over a text message of this TikTok. He's real heavy on TikTok. My brother's real heavy on TikTok. And they shot me over this TikTok talking about Coach Prime, Deion Sanders. Now, I know we can be critical of the, some of the decisions he makes on the football field. We can even be critical about some of the things that he says in the media. But one thing that, that we all on the same page for the most part is that he's beneficial to Jackson State and not just to Jackson State, but to all HBCUs. Well, at least I thought we were all on the same page. That is until my cousin shot me over. Shout out to Los. My cousin Los shot me over this video from TikTok about this TikToker criticizing Deion Sanders. And the criticism was just distasteful, disgusting. I got to play it because it, it was just crazy. Let me go ahead and share my screen, pull up this TikTok. Uh, and and because some things, it's not necessarily that I want to give this guy any more, any more notoriety. It's because we got to get some straightening. All right, some things just got to be checked. So listen, listen to uh, this is the card, the Uncorked Podcast, the Uncorked Podcast on TikTok, and this is what he said about Coach Prime. Let's take a listen. Well, I think he's here to boost his resume and his family name, and Jackson State is just a vehicle to do that. Oh, yeah. Not just Jackson State HBCUs, period. And I think we being sold out by Deion Sanders, and we look like real coons. Dude, I think like five or ten years from now, when he's gone, we're gonna look back on this like, damn, we were cooning. Oh my gosh! So for those, because it was kind of quick, and I'm gonna play it again. For those that didn't hear what the man said, he said, "I think Deion Sanders is using Jackson State and HBCUs." Not because he wants to help Jackson State and the other HBCUs, but because he's trying to boost his family name. <laughs> he is simply there to boost his family name, not to help our community, not to help black people, not to help young men at Jackson State and young men across the country at all these different HBCUs, but just there to simply boost his family name. And there's so many. This is a straw man argument. This is this is bad faith. This is bad. Let's let me run it again, and then we'll get into why this makes absolutely zero sense. Let's take a listen one more time to what he had to say about Coach Prime in Jackson State. Well, I think he's here to boost his resume and his family name, and Jackson State is just a vehicle to do that. Not just Jackson State HBCUs, period. And I think we being sold out by Deion Sanders and we look like real coons Dude, I think like five or ten years from now when he's gone we're gonna look back on this like damn we were cooning oh my god okay 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 let me click that so just so I want to make sure that it not play again okay so there's there's so many things wrong with this argument um let's start with this and this is no disrespect to the JSU alumni this is no disrespect to Jackson State at all do i think that some people you know people that were living under a rock found out about who deon sanders was and his family were since he's been at jackson state yeah i think that's possible i think that's possible some people may not have known who deon sanders was before he got to Jackson State. I mean, he's not the most famous person in the entire ever in the history of the world. So some people did learn about Jackson, I uh, learned about Deion Sanders from Jackson State. But a whole lot more learned about Jackson State because of Deion Sanders. See, this ain't no run-of-the-mill type of fly-by-night type of dude. 
This is Deion Sanders. <laughs> Deion Sanders is not only Pro Football Hall of Fame class of 2011 and College Football Hall of Fame. He just not because there's a lot of people in the Hall of Fame that some of you don't know, right? This is one of the most recognizable, most notable people in the history of professional football, the most popular sport in America, one of the most popular sports in the world. He, after not playing, he hasn't played in 20 years, is still one of the most recognizable and most popular people in the history of pro football, which is the most popular sport in all of America. Let's just go to, let's just, Let's just go to Prime's socials. So if you look at Prime's socials, the man has 2 million on Instagram. He had 2 million on Instagram before he got to Jackson State. <laughs> Jackson State gets the coverage that they get, not because they're Jackson State. They've been Jackson State for 100 years. Not because they have pro, you know, four pro football Hall of Famers. They have pro, four pro football Hall of Famers for years. They get the coverage that they get today because of who their coach is and because of what he's been able to do to that program and turn that program around. The man has 2 million followers on Instagram alone. Let's let's check Twitter because remember, Prime didn't have no love. Nobody knew who Prime was before he got to Jackson State. He's at Jackson State to get his cloud up. Well, on Twitter, he's got another 1.3. So we're up hovering around 4 million on social media. What other college football coach has that? Not just HBCU. Nick Saban don't got four million on social. And if you want to add Facebook, forget it. Why not? Why not add just Facebook? Just just for fun, you know, just for ish and giggles. It's another 500,000, 496. So we're, we're, we're hovering around 4.4, 4.5 million on social. What other football coach? Not just college football coach. Give me an NFL coach that's got four and a half million followers and subscribers on social. Nobody has that. That that ain't because of Jackson State. And once again, I'm not taking shots at Jackson State. I just wanna I just wanna debunk this argument really quick because it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. It's ridiculous. It's lunacy. It's it's ab. And the fact that he said we are coons. We're going to be looking at ourselves as coons. How? All Prime has done is give to JSU and give to HBCU football. He hasn't taken anything. His notoriety would be the same. It's honestly, it's not. The only thing that Jackson State has provided Deion Sanders is a platform. They were the first to give him the coaching platform at the collegiate level. But we're talking about notoriety and fame. This is Deion Sanders. <sighs> Come on, y'all. Come on. I mean, because we, we, this is too easy to debunk. This is too easy to debunk. This is Deion Sanders. Look, let, let's look at his Wikipedia page. Let, let's look at it. The man played in the NFL from 89 to 2005. Okay, bet. As a player, two-time Super Bowl champion, NFL Defensive Player of the Year, six-time first-team All-Pro, two-time second-team All-Pro. So that's eight-time All-Pro, eight-time Pro Bowler. NFL Decade 90s decades team, NFL 100 anniversary team, Atlanta Falcon ring of honor. Then in college, he won the Jim Thorpe award and it was a two time unanimous all American. Also his Jersey number two is retired by Florida state. And since he's been at Jackson, he's won a swag championship. He's won swag coach of the year. And he's won the Eddie Robinson award. His career statistics. I'm, I'm, I feel quite comfortable saying he's the only person in the history of professional sports with 50 interceptions, 60 receptions, over 20 touchdowns, and hit over 30 home runs. He played in an MLB game and an NFL game in the same damn week. This is Deion. He played in the Super Bowl and in the World Series. This is Deion Sanders, man. This is prime, man. He also has a platinum record with Death Row in the 90s. And he needs Jackson State for clout? His, fam he, his family needs Jackson State for clout? They had a whole TV show on Oprah's network, on the own network, when it was popping. And he needs Jackson State for clout? <laughs> his son, Shador, was a four-star coming out of high school. His other son, Shiloh, committed to an SEC and played for an SEC school. His other son... Deion Jr. played at SMU, had a Division I scholarship. 
And he needs Jackson State for clout. His longtime lady is Tracy Edmonds. Big time uh, TV producer. Uh, anchor. And he needs Jackson State for clout. I mean, I... Uh, we we have to we have to check things. See, and that's the thing. I didn't I don't want to give Buddy too much, you know, too much attention. But see, when we see things that are out of order and we see people talking about our heroes, talking about our people that are actually in here putting in work for the community, for the culture, and they and they trying to say you're a coon for following it, or you're a coon for supporting it, or you're you know, they're degrading you and calling you out of your name for supporting a man who is actually supporting us, who is doing more for us than this dude could ever even dream of. Not just I I inspiration for us, you know, growing up as children to want to wanna be this high-level athlete, not just inspiration for us to grow up and want to be this high-level businessman, but now he's showing that when you do get successes and when you do and you're able to do the things that he can do, you give back. You give back. You help your community. That's all Prime's doing. He's giving back. Since he's been at Jackson State, they've gotten a new practice field. They uh, fixed their game field. They've had a new facility. They had the enrollment, enrollment shot through the roof. And, but somehow, some way, he's using them as a stepping stool for clout? Nah, man, they got to be checked. They got to be nipped in the bud. And you ought to be a damn shame to yourself, whoever you are, Mr. Uncorked Podcast, bro. You ought to be ashamed of yourself because you can critique Prime as a coach. You cannot like some of the things he says in the media about HBCU culture and tradition or whatever. That's cool. That's fair game. But to act like he is use, he has a hidden agenda, a secret agenda, and is using Jackson State as a stepping stool for what? A stepping stool for what? He has endorsements with Walmart, one of the biggest retailers in the world. Amazon, one of the biggest companies in the world. Aflac, one of the biggest companies in the world. He has all this uh, Pepsi. Uh, I mean, the list goes on and on associated with S Mac and Michael Strahan. Like, uh, he doesn't need Jackson State for that stuff. He was going to get that stuff regardless because he's Deion Sanders. Because he's entertaining. Because he is who he is. Because he's the man that he is, the father that he is, the businessman that he is. But somehow, some way, he's using Jackson State and HBCUs as a stepping stool. As a, to launch his career. His career's already been launched in the freaking stratosphere. <laughs> it's been in the stratosphere for 30 years. Since 1989. Since 1989, the man's career's been in the stratosphere. He sold, he sold records, hit home runs, and scored touchdowns. All at the highest level. <laughs> like, what? He's played in Super Bowls and World Series. While also selling platinum records. And he worked for the NFL Network for 10, 15 years. He also did the Unarmed All-American game with future pros for 10 years. And now he's coaching pros at his program, bringing the number one recruit to Jackson State. Travis Hunter went to, went to no damn Jackson State if he if it wasn't for prime. Four and five-star recruits wouldn't be as eager to get on HBCU campuses like they are now if it wasn't for prime. Eddie George wouldn't be the head coach of Tennessee State if it wasn't for prime. Not my words, his. Hugh Jackson wouldn't be the head coach of Gramlin if it wasn't for prime. Not my words, his. The attention that has been shown to the SWAC, to the MEAC, to all the HBCU sports wouldn't be shown like it is now if it wasn't for prime. Not my word, theirs. They wouldn't be getting the media deals. All these different programs sprouting up from uh, HBCU League Pass to HBCU Go, et cetera, et cetera, if it wasn't for Prime, not my word, theirs. But somehow he's doing it for clout. And not to mention, not to mention, on top of all of that stuff, he had the greatest comeback ever. Coach Prime had the greatest comeback ever. And that is, the comeback of his damn hairline. <laughs> On top of all that other stuff, he had the greatest comeback ever because right here, when he was inducted to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, he was a bald man. And if you look at Coach now, if you look at Coach now, hold on, let me see a picture. Let me let me get you a picture. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's got he wears a lot of hats. Hold on. <laughs> but if you look at Coach Dale, he's got a head full of hair. <laughs> he's got a head full of hair. The greatest comeback ever. Not just him coming back into the football spotlight, but his hairline coming back from being bald for 10 years or so, 15 years or whatever. So miss me. I mean, that's the most ridiculous take. I've heard a lot of takes about Deion Sanders. I've heard a lot of takes about Coach Prime. That take that he's using Jackson State for clout for his family when his family had a whole TV show, when Prime is, like I said, is in is, is the greatest cornerback in the history of the NFL, has scored 20 touchdowns, has caught 60 passes, has 50 interceptions, and almost 40 home runs in the MLB. No one else can say that. But he's using Jackson State for clout. And that's no offense. I knew I knew what Jackson State was because of because of Walter Payton. But I didn't know they had Pro Football Hall of Famers before Prime. I didn't know the rich history and tradition of Jackson State before Prime. I didn't. And I'm a I call myself a football aficionado. I love football. And I didn't even know that stuff. So for you to act like Jackson State has propelled his career. Maybe in a coaching sense, because they gave him the opportunity, but everything else falls back to prime. And when and, and when he does finally decide to hang it up at JSU, he's still going to be here. It's up to that next coach in that program to stay up here with them. It ain't going to be no drop-off from him. If anybody, it's going to be a drop-off with them. It's up to them to make sure to maintain that level of excellence whenever coach decides to move on. So don't get it twisted, man. But we got to check that stuff. We cannot allow uh, – one of my one of my mentors, Dr. Boyce Watkins, he was one of the first person, people i ever seen do this. When people get out of line, sometimes you got to uh, put them back in line. Like, hey, you got to check that. Tariq Nasheed, another really good one. You got to check that stuff, man, especially when they're talking about our heroes, especially when they're talking about, you know, black people – who are actually out here doing the right thing. We can't be co-signing foolishness. We can't be allowing foolishness to reign supreme. We can't be allowing the foolish voices because that, that TikTok got a lot of views. I mean, it hasn't been out that long. I think the TikTok's less than 24 hours long. I mean, 24 hours old. And we, we can't allow that foolishness to be reigning supreme. We can't allow that foolishness to be circulating the internet going unchecked. So no, I'm here to check it and be like, no. Ain't no prime lifting, you know, ain't no prime getting clout from Jackson State. If anything, it's the other way around. Let's not get it to it. That's no disrespect to Jackson State, but that's just the truth. And, and that's the way he wants it. He wants Jackson State to eat off him. Hell, he wouldn't be there if it wasn't the case. He knew what he was walking into two years ago. And in those two years, he's moved mountains, not just for Jackson State, but for the entire swag and for all HBCUs across the country. So we had to check it. And I'm glad we were able to, to debunk all that goofy stuff, man. Once again, my name is Jeff Lightsey Jr. with the Black Boss Channel. Hit that thumbs up button on your way out. Thank you guys for tuning in. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. That's on Instagram and Twitter at jlightsey7. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you next time. Peace.